Omega Pharma Quicksub is working towards the new season. To do so, the team is spending time together at Mallorca. The riders are here to train, but for this ride, some of them are accompanied by a special guest. Team owner Zdenek Bakala joined his top riders, including Tom Bonan, for a training on the streets of the island. Yeah, I think uh, he was in shape. I think he was training specially for the ride today with us, and uh, he was looking fit. Uh, I think he enjoyed it as, as well as we did. It was a lot of fun. Bakala is not only the team owner, but also a keen cyclist. I had lunch with him one time, and I had the bike right now today with him. So the only way I know him was just relaxed and had a few good chats with him. And um, I don't know him as a, somebody who's trying to put power on, on people or something. No, it's just a really, really uh, nice guy to have a chat with. After the training, Tom Bonan continues to ride his bike inside. Not too long ago, Bonan spent a while in the hospital and he's still recovering from his illness. I was really sick. I got a, they think it was a virus and I got a stomach inflammation after that. So I was in the hospital for, uh, for four days and uh, now it starts to feel better again. Since last week I'm, I'm improving a lot, but I was still really, really, really weak. And now uh, I'm starting to have energy again. Yeah, of course it's not perfect. I mean, I already did a lot of work before I got sick, so I was lucky that uh, I already had a little bit of a lead to the other guys. But then I was off the bike for 12 days and it's, uh, it's not like you recover 12 days of sickness. So it was not, uh, was not the best way uh, to, uh, to prepare the training camp. But now I think uh, one more week or two more weeks and I will be on the level that I was before again. It's not perfect, but that's life. Sometimes uh, you have to fight back. In the meanwhile, one of Bonin's main goals, the 2013 Tour of Flanders, has been presented in Belgium. Tom is looking forward to this year's edition, which doesn't show a lot of differences compared to the one Bonin won in 2012. I don't think you can talk about uh, another parkour, it's just a few few little things that have been changed. Maybe 1% of the parkour has been changed, so it's the same final. and. I think uh, the, the hard part of the race, the, the part where the decisions not will be made, but, but where everybody's going to be going to be get tired, and then the final is still the same. So the only difference will be that the riders now are used to this. They, they have uh, they have done the race already one time, so uh, it will change a little bit. The parkour is perfect the way it is, and if I can say the years before in the old parkour it was the same. Eh? Well, sometimes we went to the move at 60 guys, so. Uh, it's not the parkour that makes the race, it's the riders that makes the race and I think this parkour is, uh, is really good for, for a nice, nice final, a nice race. The key point is the last lap, I mean if you do the laps there, but it's not... It's really hard before the laps, I mean a lot of the guys were already dead before the laps started and um, if you then have a really hard final like, it's, like it is now, of course uh, the most intelligent thing is to wait for the right moment, like it's the only way you can win the race. So. Uh, which is the most important part of this parkour, it depends on the race. It doesn't matter in which race or what's the name of the climb, it's always going to end up in the final. It's the 100th edition uh, this year and uh, of course in a special race like Tour de Flanders to uh, have the opportunity to ride the 100th edition is, uh, is always special.